Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. Uh, last week's show with Dana and the week before with Randy had rave reviews. And I just want to give you an update uh, with Randy. We are going to do the NBA basketball camp in August. So for those of you who have asked me about this basketball camp, it's going to happen. I don't have a definitive date yet. I will announce it probably by the next show. But Randy is working very hard uh, with uh, the NBA players. And we will tell you who's coming, when they're coming and what school we will be at. So let's talk about today. If you want to meet somebody who is the most charming individual, somebody who has more energy than I have, and believe me, a lot more energy than I have, this young lady is amazing. Her name is Cynthia Yamasaki. And I told her, you know what, let's open up our own firm called Yamasaki and Kazimersky. I thought that would be sort of cute, you know, to have us doing that together. But it, it's, it's amazing. I met uh, Cynthia about uh, a month ago. We were at a uh, conference, actually, in finance. And she sat next to me. And this bubbly young woman told me about her business. And her business is called E-Path. That's double E-Path. And she calls herself chief energizing officer. You ask yourself, what? <laughs> it's not chief executive officer, it's chief energizing officer. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to this young woman who makes me smile. And I, I just feel you will understand how forward thinking she is in her business after you listen to what she has to say. Welcome. Thank you, Seymour. It's it is a so nice. It's that smile. That's the <laughs> smile I saw when when we were at that meeting, and it's just it's something that's obviously your aura about you is one of happiness. It is very much joy. That's wonderful. And living life to the fullest. Yeah, you got it. And tell us about EPath. What is EPath? So EPath it stands for Empowered and Energized Path to Lead and Live Well. And it's something that I've created through experiences throughout the year, and I've learned from many good people, starting with my parents, mm -hmm. and values, and hard work, and just different mentors. And now it's time to give back, and so that's what I love doing. So are you doing it as a profit-making venture or yes. a non-profit? So it people is a pay to come to talk to you yes. and to your seminars, yes. right? And what do they get? They get empowered and energized. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> well, I get this it. is what I really believe in. Yeah. I believe that everyone has the potential to be their greatest self. And sometimes over the years, we just get lost in that. We mm -hmm. get so busy. Mm -hmm. And so if we can take a moment to take a pause and reflect and get back to our roots, our values, mm -hmm. and what we really who we are, mm -hmm. each individual, unique being, that we can bring forth that inner peace and joy and share it with others. That's, that's a, a wow factor for me <laughs> because I preach that also. You know, yes. when I work with my clients and when I, when I mentor young business yes. people, and it's something that I really believe is important, that it's not simply how much money you make because happiness can't be measured by the amount of money you make. Mm -hmm. So for me, what you're doing is exactly what a lot of people forget about because they're chasing money instead chasing of money. chasing happiness fame, right. or something outside to define themselves and what is happiness. How did you start this? What well, you know, it's a journey. Life is a journey, mm -hmm. and um, it's, there's ups and downs. And uh, truthfully, there was a time in my life that I was chasing after those titles and fame, because we've been conditioned to do that. Mm -hmm. And there was just a point in my life that I said, you know, there's got to be something more. So it's been a quest for over 20 years wow. of exploring and learning from the greatest teachers and getting degrees and certifications and traveling the world. But I've been, Cynthia, just been blessed. 20 years, you're only, you look like you're 30. <laughs> you're so kind. How do, you, how do you do that? I mean, it's, you know, my wife always says that 
that uh, people in Hawaii, they're lucky because if they have Asian blood and they don't go out in the sun a lot, they look like you, right? Yeah, and that's, that's humidity. Uh, whatever, whatever works, right? Whatever so, works. so what is, it, is your background here in Hawaii? So I um, actually, yes, I pretty much grew up here in Hawaii. My mm -hmm. parents, um, I'm like fourth generation. Oh, My wow. parents are, are third generation. They lived in L.A., and I was born, and then they realized in their life that they want to come home to raise their family. Mm -hmm. So I was very fortunate at the age of five to move back here and pretty much went to public school, really? the University of Hawaii. Wow. And, and really, um, I think what I was very blessed with is our parent, my parents who are forward thinking as well. They were entrepreneurs, they had their own business. They worked really hard to give my brother and I a solid life. And it was simple things. You know, and um, so just growing up, and they, I started dancing at the age th of three, mm -hmm. and uh, just loved dancing. And so my mother just always, in, just uh, encouraged us to do what we love to do. And I was able to travel the world based on the dancing, sharing, really? sharing the spirit of aloha as a dancer. Wow! Mm -hmm. So you were a dancer, uh, a classical dancer, or a hula dancer, a hula dancer, yes. and you went around with the with the hula troops. Uh, yeah. So it started Hawaii. off. I think I was like around age ten, oh my dancing gosh. in Waikiki with wow. the hula halau or hula studio, what they used to call it in those days. If I would have known Mana. that, if I would have known that, I would have had you dance here. Oh. Why <laughs> maybe not? Maybe the next time. Maybe next time. Now you also do retreats. I'm very yes. interested in that. Tell me about the business of retreats here. So the business of retreats is first getting in touch and just kind of reflecting and rejuvenating and then thinking about the big picture, envisioning what we would like. So as a leaders, as a group of leaders of an organization, going through the usual you know, strategic planning, but really keeping everyone focused from all, so my leadership retreats might be with board of directors or the executive leaders of an organization. The Are these all Hawaii-based? Yeah. Can be Hawaii-based or wherever they want wow. it to be. And I, Where but, do you do them? So there are two places now that I've kind of um, gotten into a partnership with that we can help facilitate. But can it's you really, tell us who? oh yes, so the Still a Moving Center, mm -hmm. so Ho Hele Retreats. Right. And there's also this unique place out in on the in Mountain View on the Big Island that we can really kind of check out and unplug. Wow. So it's about getting to a place and I've I've done it on Moloka'i with the teachers. Just finding the safe space mm -hmm. where people can just Breathe mm -hmm. and unwind. And you do yoga and all and that. We kind can, of? Well, what I do is I design it according to the organization's right. needs. Right. But yes, a typical day could be starting off with yoga, mm -hmm. getting to know each other, mm -hmm. um, and then expressing in a safe zone really what they're thinking. So mm -hmm. many times, especially in Hawaii, we tend to try to, you know, with that kind of um, Pacific Asian influence. So we, we're very cordial with each other. People will not really say what they mean mm -hmm. initially until you can build an establishment of trust. Mm -hmm. So we'll do things in the beginning to build that trust. And then take a look at what is it to mean to be a really good leader. And then do some, you know, mind mapping right, right, and brainstorming. Right. So you don't just do it for corporations. What about individuals? Can Ooh, for they... individuals, yes. Good. So if, if a, a group of women, men, does it, is it only women or you do it, it for everybody? It can be mixed. T but terrific. sometimes in, in uh, some of my earlier retreats were just focused on women. You know, I think that's so important. Yes. I, I, now I'm... I'm I just feel that women have become such an important part of our business world, but yet they're not recognized enough. And they need to be able to stand up on their own and not feel that they, there's a glass ceiling there. They have to be willing to talk about the opportunities that are out yes. there and be equal to the other individual, the male obviously, mm -hmm. that is basically in competition with them for mm. the job. And I've seen so many of the young people that I mentor where the women actually feel that because they're women, they are not up to the task of what the job is. And I totally mm -hmm. disagree with that. Yes. And I have many, many friends in business who I know and who I work with and talk, talk with all the time, and I see them blossoming once they yes. get what you are doing. Once, once they achieve that confidence in themselves, the self-esteem goes yes. up. Everything that you do is so important. And I'm encouraging you oh, to you. help more and more women. I think it's absolutely an important part. I would love to because it's, we have to help each other and we also have to give different perspectives. So like what you said, it's like what think tech 
means is lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. And it starts from your inside, your inner confidence, mm -hmm. your competence, and then connections, helping each other. How do you market your product? Just pretty much by what, meeting, meeting people, people yes. word of mouth, <laughs> getting to stuff. know them, yeah. really listening, um, you know, spreading joy. So, you know, it's like every day I meditate. I get up in the morning and I set my intention and I meditate. And my intention is always if I could just make a difference in one person's life. And it doesn't have to be a big thing, it could just be. Can they smile? Can they mm -hmm. feel happy? Mm -hmm. And then can they think from another perspective? You know, everything you're doing is absolutely correct. <laughs> First of all, I also meditate. Now, I do nice. it in the hot tub. That's ah. my three days a week. I get awesome. in the hot tub at 6.30 in the morning. I start at 4 a.m. Yes. I work till 6.30. And then I get in the hot tub and I think about everything that I have to do ah. and, and try to feel the joy that I get from the stuff yes. that I do. Because most of my, my work is not um, work to make money. It's mostly my foundations mm -hmm. and, you know, the other things that I do. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that that's an important part of absolutely. giving back. I call it self-actualization. Ah. I don't know if you've ever heard the term. Yes, absolutely. But it's the term that I use where giving back is more important than receiving. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. exactly what you're talking about. Yes. And I think that's, I, you see, I knew we would get together. <laughs> now, are we going to open up the company? Yes, Yamasaki we are. Yamasaki and Kazumursi? Yes, absolutely. We have to take a Thank short you. break, and then we're going to be back with Cynthia, and we're going to talk about more of the detail of how you as an individual, and perhaps you're a board member, how you you can get to the place where Cynthia is talking about. We'll be back in a minute. I'm Seymour Kazimersky on Think Tech Hawaii. You can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the king, come banging on your chest. You can beat the world, you can beat the war, you could talk to God, go banging on his door. You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock, you can move a mountain. Dedicate yourself and you can find yourself Stay in the hall of Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Gabrielli. I'm the host for Young Talents Making Way here on FinTech Hawaii. We talk every Tuesday at 11 a.m. about things that matter to tech, matter to science, uh, to the people of Hawaii with some extraordinary guests. The students uh, of our schools who are participating in science fair. So Young Talents Making Way every Tuesday at 11 a.m. only on FinTech Hawaii. Mahalo. Hi, I'm Pete McGuinness-Mark, and every Monday at 1 o'clock, I'm the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa. And at that program, we bring to you a whole range of new scientific results from the university, ranging from everything from exploring the solar system to looking at the Earth from space, going underwater, talking about earthquakes and volcanoes, and other things which have a direct relevance not only to Hawaii, but also to our economy. So please try and join me. One o'clock on a Monday afternoon to Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa. And see you then. Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. I told you you're going to meet the most bubbly person you have ever, ever met. And that is, of course, Cynthia Yamasaki. And the company we're opening is Yamasaki and Kazimersky. Just kidding. <laughs> but I just love the name. I don't know why. It just, you know, it, it flows beautifully. It has a ring to it, right? Yeah, yeah. And of course, you do very similar stuff to what I do. Yes. But of course, you do it in a much more professional way than I oh, do. Oh, no, we all so have gifts. It is absolutely phenomenal. I want to continue a little bit where we left off. Sure. So go ahead. Tell us more more about what you are doing. So you know how you, you have your way of self-actualization. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own way. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I kind of do with my coaching clients and organizations is what um, I've learned through Glenn Furuya. In fact, I have to give him credit for this. Mm -hmm. See, be, do, have, and give. So, you know, C is having that vision, mm -hmm. and B is having your values and living them and being an example of it, mm -hmm. and have, um, doing it, you have to take action, mm -hmm. and then receiving graciously, mm -hmm. and sharing back, giving back. And whenever I um, meditate, I always think about the core values. So the core values of an individual, what it means to you, core values of the organization, because that's the benchmark. That's when times get tough, you just take a step back, 
take a breath and go, okay, do I, how do I react? You mm -hmm. can choose. Mm -hmm. But if you remember to reflect back on your core values, you'll make the right choice. Wow. I, I feel about this high right now. <laughs> that is fabulous. I mean, in just a few words, you're able to describe what we should all be doing with our lives. And it makes life so much better than worrying about chasing, chasing the dollar all the time if you yes. realize there's much more to life than that. Now, I want to talk about some of the other things that you do for businesses and mm -hmm. for individuals. Yes. So you're talking about your HR business consulting. How does that, how does that affect the, what, what you're doing when it comes to helping people understand what their value is? So I guess I would say if it were like a, uh, if we were to have an avatar client, mm -hmm. it would be a, a top leader who has influence and decision-making authority in mm -hmm. an organization. That's my ideal customer mm -hmm. who says, you know what, there's something amiss here. And I, and all the, the logic side of it and the data and the numbers might be telling something, but there's something else. So we will talk through it and see how is that person effective as a leader. And some of them are really great. And really, a lot of them want to get it to the next level. And if they find that it's something in their organization that they want to raise everyone around them, for example, perhaps in five years they want to retire. Mm -hmm. And they want to pass on that knowledge. And how do you do that to pick your next successor mm -hmm. or your team? Get them ready for it. So that's wow. when the Excellent. HR consulting comes yeah. into play because it's the human side of the business mm -hmm. and it's a process. So looking at all the components. So I have over 15 years of human resource uh, leadership experience. And Is I that on top of, of the 20 years? That you were <laughs> There's no Pretty way. Much. Yeah. Go so ahead. it's all integrated, interrelated, uh -huh. and we're all people, and it's not like you walk into work one person and go home another. You're the same person. So it's just making sure that you're congruent with that. So is your client base just here? I mean, I feel like you should expand this program. Oh, is I it just in Hawaii, or is it... I have contacts throughout the world, mm -hmm. and I have worked with people abroad and uh, through through the internet, which is a blessing. Yeah, right. but uh, have you actually done some of your work on the internet with people, or is it always face-to-face? Coaching face -to -face? on face-to-face, -face, uh, online. So Skype and Skype things like Zoom, and all that Zoom, kind of stuff. Yeah. yes. Wow. Yes, and that I also teach, I, you know, I'm an adjunct faculty with Argosy University. Okay. And I just did a class on human resources to mm -hmm. a group of wonderful people in mm -hmm. American Samoa. Mm -hmm. So it's like, wonderful. Just How can you smile so much every day? Oh, I'm just happy. Are you are you, you know, basically a happy person? Basically. Yeah. That's and wonderful. sometimes, well, truthfully, sometimes I just need to check out. Yeah. People go, wow, why well, let's go dancing. You love to go dancing. I go, yeah. you know, I just need to recharge my batteries. Yeah. And I just, just you know, just enjoy, not feel guilty about it. Be at home, be a little crab, wow. recharge, and then get back out there. Well, let's look at some of the photos that okay. you sent us, all right? Here, <laughs> oh, go yes, ahead. This is Tell us what this the is. The balance and harmony. So one of the things that I really want to emphasize and is for everyone to feel like you're your best self from the inside out and for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Not for the money, not for all those accolades and fame, and balance and harmony in your personal life, your professional life, and in the spirit of how we work together as a community. Cynthia, can I steal that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> can I use you that as part of and what just, I do? You know, spread it because uh, all right, good. it's What's like a good one? cookie recipe, yeah, right? I, we need course, to share. Of course. Oh, and oh this, this one. one I know, actually. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell <laughs> no, us. No, go ahead. It. Well, this essence of success, uh, Cynthia sent this to me, and I honestly believe that everything that's in here in, in, in its condensed form is actually what all of us should be looking towards. And even my corporate clients, I have sent this to, to all of them. And I said, why don't you look at this? And at the next board meeting, let's talk about this. And uh, if it's okay with you, Cynthia, I'm going to do a uh, Seymour's World Commentary. Oh, yes. And if it's all right with you, may I use this on my oh, commentary? Oh, yes, absolutely. Because it is so true. As you're reading it, I'm not going to read it out loud to you. You folks in our audience can look at it. And it's really the empowerment and the energy how to lead and live well. It's beautiful. The Thank next you. one. And that one, you oh, know, sorry. if anyone wants to download it, they can go to my website and my blog, and it's a photo, and yes. We're going to put that up online all right, for you, too. Let's see the next Hi. photo. Oh, I feel so honored. This is just a nomination for the Board of um, Better Business Bureau Torch Awards for Ethics. Wow. So, you know, I really believe in the Better Business Bureau in terms of it, it has a standard of values that we as business in Hawaii 
can rely on. And um, so I feel so so lucky that I was able to yeah, be recognized you're, oh, last wow. year. Mm -hmm. Cynthia, I have to say, um, uh, one of the biggest issues that I have in our business world today is the effect of the media on everything that we're doing and the negativity that the media has brought into play. Mm. And that's something that both of us, in, because we're in similar businesses, yes. both of us have to make sure that people realize that the positive attitude is the, is the way to go. Not looking at all the negativity that's out there, not reading all the newspapers, watching all the television. A matter of fact, the more you turn that off and focus on yourself, Mm -hmm. and your self-determination, you'll do a much better job in your business or whatever you have to do. Yes, positivity, so, but may I just add yes, a little, maybe please. another perspective? Of course, Sometimes, that's why we're going to be Yamasaki <laughs> and Kathleen Mercy. Sometimes when there's something negative, it's not so much that you want to like put rose-colored glasses and ignore it, but perhaps look at it as, what can I learn from this? Or if it's something that it irks you or you feel, you know, what can we do to solve it mm -hmm. instead of just putting our heads in the sand and ignoring it. So, I mean, that's just right. another perspective. A hundred percent right. a positive attitude is so much, the mindset is yeah. very important. Yeah. I mean, there's two things that I like about a lot of the clients that I work with, and some of them have very large businesses. Mm. Uh, they smile a lot. Yes. They realize that, uh, you know, the ups and downs of business, the, the learning experiences, failure is a learning experience. Yes. It is not something bad unless you keep doing it over and over again. <laughs> but it really is a learning experience. Mm -hmm. And I try to teach that a lot, you know, yes. that it's okay to fail. As a matter of fact, my favorite saying is, you know, Dyson the vacuum cleaner? Oh, yes. He had 117 prototypes. Wow. 117 prototypes before he actually made his first his first marketable vacuum cleaner. Wow. So imagine he how many times to. he failed and had to start over mm -hmm. and over again. But look at where he is now. Yes. So for all of us out there, for all of us who are worried about are we making the right decision to do this or not, go for it. Try Absolutely. it. Because you never know. You never you just know. never know. We have one more photograph, I think. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. This is the Patsy Bank Center for Business and Leadership. So we opened it up in 2013. So after I got, so I had this plan, I have my own life plan. And after getting out of working for corporate, I went and um, assisted in being the director to open up the Patsy Mink Center for Business and Leadership, mm -hmm. which is a women's business center with mm -hmm. the SBA. And basically, we set it up, did the room, my sons, my friends, we were doing flooring and painting, wow. building the foundation, because yeah. that's always important, right? Yeah. Your workflow, sure. your measurements, and the programs and initiatives, and finding out what is needed out there. So yes, there is a soft, soft spot for how do we empower more women. I just love yes. that you do and, that. And that's a great center, and they're I continuing on. Uh, we opened up in 2013, and they're five wow. years now. That is no, amazing. Right? Are, are I'm not involved anymore. Really? But yes. are you involved in other philanthropic efforts? Oh, yes. Tell yes. us about those. So Chinese Chamber of Commerce, I was just elected to um, the uh, uh, executive committee. Chinese? Chinese. I'm Chinese, actually. Wait a second. <laughs> Yamasaki, am I crazy here? You know, well, I have two sons. Ah. And so, you know, I respect their father, and mm -hmm. I respect their family name, and my sons wanted to be attached to me. Now I don't know if I want to call it <laughs> Yamasaki and Kaiser oh, Mercy. Ching. Uh. <laughs> Ching is a lot. Yeah, okay, make Ching. my Ching family proud, my father's uh -huh. line of heritage. Uh -huh. So what was I saying? Oh, oh, yeah, you're talking about some of your philanthropic efforts. Oh, yes. So uh, Chinese Chamber of Commerce and the uh, we have in the Chinatown Training and Visioning Center. Mm -hmm. So I kind of help to organize and lead. We have free workshops every month mm -hmm. for the community, Wonderful. for the members, and it's Wonderful. all different that and um, add up Hawaii. So I, I volunteer for the organizations that for things that I believe in and love the people who are, you know, involved with it. That's and it's terrific. about giving back. It's all about giving yes. back. It, but I, I mean, to a lot of you out there, you probably wonder when we say give me, I don't have time to give back or all that stuff. You do. You just don't realize it. It's the smallest things that, yes. be, that really begin. You cross the street and you help somebody who's a little bit older and you'll all, you'll all of a sudden notice the smile on their face, the thank Thankfulness on their face. In my programs, the Make Them Smile program, we see the kids oh, and the parents yeah. and everything that goes on in the hospitals. Just give back a little bit. And once you, once you start to give back a little bit, amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yes. So, Cynthia, unfortunately, we're at the end. Well, and we didn't even, we did, I, have, I have like <laughs> about 10 more questions for you that we didn't oh, get through. But what a pleasure to have you here. And what Same a here. absolute positive star you are. I really believe that. I believe that if people want to learn how to lead a better life, they should call you. 
please. They really should call you, and they could find you at EE Path, right? Yes. Why is it EE Path? Well, energized and empowered. Oh, of course. E. E, e, and, right. and the logo, my logo, the two E's, my son designed it. But the colors, green is for growing uh -huh. and blue is for trust and uh -huh. the hands and a pathway. It just has all those backstory meanings. Wow. But really, yes, I would enjoy meeting people just having a conversation. Well, I have to tell you, our audience is going to watch this show <laughs> and you are going to get a lot of calls because it's it's just a pleasure to see somebody so positive, so smiling, so happy. I, I don't know how many more so's I have, but it is <laughs> And you are so terrific. kind and positive as well. So. It's my pleasure. It's my awesome. pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much for coming to our show. Thank you for having me on your show. Aloha. And to all of you out there, uh, we will see you in a couple of weeks. I'm on way, my way back to Canada again. And uh, let's see. Uh, the end of this month, I will be back. So uh, we will see you at the end of April. Aloha from Seymour's World. For the commentary or can she just